Hi and welcome back to the series. A few of my favourite things of what I've done in the parks that I have visited. So these are the best in park in Di uh, Walt Disney Studios or as it's soon to be called Disney Adventure World. So what, um, I'm breaking it down with attractions, restaurants and shows just to give you a brief overview of what's available in park and what I enjoy doing. So for Walt Disney Studios, um, there's quite a few good lands. So there's Marvel Campus, there's also the Pixar place. So there's a few good choices. Um, unfortunately, even though it's just been announced, I'm filming this on the Sunday of D23, it was announced last night. Frozen is 2026, I think they announced, and there will be Pride Land. So that's something to look forward to. Um, but at the time being my favourite attractions, I really do enjoy the Tower of Terror. I think it's a fantastic attraction. I think it is really wonderful. Um, I also think that for it being a unique coaster and nowhere else in the world, there is also Crush's Coaster. So you can't ride that anywhere else. So that's a really good choice. I really do enjoy Ratatouille as well. But I think my favourite attraction, just because it, if, if, uh, because of its re-rideability, is Spider-Man Web Adventures. Um, this is where you are helping Spider-Man who has had some spider bots let loose over Avengers Campus and it actually is like a shooting game but you're using your hands instead and I find it a lot of fun. Um, it, like I say, it's different each time you play. You've got your own score so it's something to beat. It's why I enjoy Toy Story Mania in uh, Hollywood Studios. So my favourite attraction is probably going to be Spider-Man's Web Adventure. Restaurants and places to eat. Um, this one is a bit more difficult. Um, I've really only eaten at two places at um, Walt Disney Studios. Um, it's Remy's or it's Pim's uh, Kitchen. Remy's is a fine dining situation. They're very different. Um, it's table service so the food gets brought to you whereas Pim's Kitchen is buffet. I really enjoy the concept of Pim's Kitchen that you've got like mini hot dogs or mini burgers and giant hot dogs and a giant burger and the food is a mixture and you can get a good variety of different foods but sometimes buffets can be a bit hit and miss depending on how what time you're going at, how fresh the food is cooked. Whereas Remy's, it's food that's cooked to order and the theming of it is fantastic. The restaurant, it is that you are shrunk down, you're sat on either bottle caps or you could be sat with a book um, as part of your booth. It's it's so fantastically themed. Um, but I think, I think I'm gonna have to go with Remy's um, is, as my favorite restaurant. I think that there's a few good choices for quick service. Um, especially the food trucks that have now appeared in Avengers Campus. I really enjoyed a group cookie that we got in Avengers Campus, um, but I think you can have a good variety of different food. Uh, throughout Disney's um, studio, um, and I think there's gonna be more choices with the inclusion of the two new lands that have been announced. But at the moment, I think the sit-down restaurants are probably the better choices. And out of the two, I will probably go back to Remy's over Pim's Kitchen. Um, I really, uh, again, it's a tough choice. And I think it's just because um, I would prefer to have a table service than a buffet. And ultimately, that is it. And finally, we come to shows. Now, there is some fantastic different types of shows. You've got the Frozen musical. You've got Stitch Live, where it's a bit like Crusher's uh, talk, where if you've not seen... The animation on the screen talks to you and asks questions and it's done in both English and in French depending on what times you go at. There's a Dan, uh, Disney Junior which doesn't appeal to me but there might to others. Um, but I think my choice has to be the one that I haven't mentioned and that's Mickey and the Magician. Yes there is parts of it that is in French, yes there are parts of it that is in English but the stage show, the music that's involved, the characters that are shown I think is fantastic. It has got like a good theming to it. it, has got magic throughout. And some of the things that happen on 
stage I just can't get my head around. I was still bamboozled about what I saw. And I think it is a really good show. I think it's definitely worth going to see. So my choice for this time is going to be Mickey and the Magicians. So this video, as I have said, will probably be dated very, very quickly in the next couple of years because of the inclusion of Arendelle, uh, the world of Frozen and Pride Lands. But it's at this precise moment in time in 2024, those are my choices. Just to recap, Spider-Man's Web Adventure for adventure uh, for attraction because of the re-rideability. I enjoy a sit-down restaurant and I think I'd choose uh, Remy's over uh, Pim's Kitchen just because of the table service instead of choosing a buffet. And the show is Mickey and the Magician just because of the characters that are involved in it um, and just because of the story that's told and the music. Let me know in your comments below what is your favourite? Is there anything I've missed off that I've not actually had the chance to experience? I know that there was a Pixar musical or a Pixar show that I wanted to go last time I went to Paris, but unfortunately didn't have the time. What do you think of Crusher's Coaster? I it, I think it's a really good, unique coaster, but again, it's one that I find difficult because of my height. Um, it's one that I sort of have to squeeze into, and it can get uncomfortable sometimes, but I think it is a very good themed and designed attraction. Anyway gone off topic thanks for watching thanks for getting this far like share subscribe do all the things that you can do to support the channel thanks for watching and i will see you real soon